Hey guys, Joey here. Uh, going to uh, talk a little bit about 12 volt fuses inside travel trailers and you know motorhomes and RVs in general. Um, not every RV is going to have the fuses located in the spot I'm about to show you, but a lot of people will get jobs where you know they'll call me up, tell me something's not working, and I try to discuss it over the phone with them before you know I charge them the service call and labor fee to come out. You know, because I do have a one hour minimum. Um, because sometimes it can be as simple as a fuse on an RV. So this is, you know, this is my personal travel trailer that I have. Uh, I'm going to show you where the converter is. Where a lot, where on a lot of travel trailers, you're going to find your 12 volt fuses. So if you look, now I'm inside a Coleman travel trailer, and you know, obviously that's the refrigerator. But when I ask people. You know, you know where your 12 volt fuses are, and they tell me no. And a lot of times, you'll find it inside the converter box. So there's a lid. Remove the lid. So here's all your breakers for your 110. On to the left here, and to the right, you'll see all these fuses. And next, next to each fuse, there'll be lights on the newer models. On some of the older models, you won't have those lights. But on mine, each and every one is labeled here you look 15 amp kitchen 15 amp dining 15 ba bath you know bathroom 15 for the bedroom 15 says w pump water pump and the list keeps going on you know the awning the lp there's a lot of different fuses now, none of my fuses are blown you know, I try to stay up on things, but recently I did have a fuse blow, um, and it was actually the kitchen fuse. I installed an electric couch, and I was pushed the button on the couch to recline it, and it blew the fuse. And the reason why it blew the fuse is I had every kitchen light on. I had the fan running on the overhead of the uh, stove, and I maxed out the fuse amperage, you know, so it's only rated for in the kitchen for 15 amps you know when I had everything turned on it was a lot more than 15 amps so as soon as that couch kicked on it demanded more and blew the fuse and then I had no power you can actually barely see it up there well in the top that was kitchen different color than all the other ones um, so one thing you always want to do is check your fuses you know if you have these lights inside your converter if you have a blown fuse it'll light up red if your converter is working properly so now when I say converter these are inside the converter box because it it provides a distribution panel to send 12 volts DC throughout the entire travel trailer so these two 40 amp fuses right here these are main fuses if one of these blows you're gonna lose a lot more than a couple lights but you're gonna lose all your 12 volt or you're gonna lose your charging system um, when you're plugged in so just remember not every light in your travel trailer or, or RV is 12 volts some of them are 110 the way to find this out is unplug your RV and if you have an inverter turn that off and then go through and just start turning lights on and then you'll determine which ones are which a lot of people know from when they bought it if they had a proper walkthrough um, we're actually going to do a video soon here how to use your RV and we're going to do a walkthrough on a brand new 2017 motorhome. It's a pretty nice motorhome. I think everybody will pretty be pretty happy about it. Um, you know, we'll go over everything in the video. It'll be quite a long, quite long video, but um, at the end of it, anybody that owns that RV will really know everything about their RV. So, you know, that's the purpose is to get people educated on RVs because, you know, Although I do like making the money, when I show up to a job and all I'm doing is replacing a fuse and I figure it out in the first 10 minutes and I have a one hour minimum, I, I feel terrible charging the one hour minimum when it's something that can be fixed if they know what they're looking for and have a test light or they have these red lights to say the fuse is blown and they can go to an auto parts store and buy a pack of the fuses and just replace it with the same rated fuse so if, it, if you pull a 15 put a 15 in there if you pull a 10 put a 10 in there now if it looks like somebody's been in there and 
put a whole bunch of them that aren't supposed to be there, you can always look in your owner's manual, make sure that it's actually rated for 15, and then you can put the 15 amp. Because you don't want to put a 20 amp or 25 amp fuse in there, um, just because it's the only thing you have. Um, the reason there's ratings is because sometimes the wire does not support more than 10 amps, for example. So if it's wired for a maximum of 10 amps, and then you put a 20 amp fuse in there, and a direct short occurs, or you know something bad like that, that wire could actually melt and start a fire before it reaches 20 amps. And because it's not rated to carry that much of an amperage load. I don't want to get too de too detailed into this, um, but this is just supposed to be a quick video. Sorry it's so long. But remember, there's always 12 volt fuses on a lot of travel trailers inside the converter. On a lot of Class A motorhomes, it's going to be on the driver's side front left compartment, but also on the interior. But the first place I always look is the driver's front left compartment, especially on Monaco's. Anybody that owns a Monaco knows all about that. Um, I'll make a video later. You know, take this cover off and hook it up to ground as far as checking everything with the test light. If you don't have the lights next to it that are telltale, as far as them being blown or good. Um, I hope this video helps somebody out there. That's the purpose of this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask away. I um, haven't really been getting a lot of questions. Been getting some likes on here. I appreciate that. I want to thank everybody that's subscribed so far. We've got 35 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but you got to start somewhere. I'm still pretty young, but I have been doing this for 14 years and have a pretty big following locally here as far as customers. So reach out to me if you need anything at all or you're having a problem that nobody can figure out. Um, I'd love to help you guys fix it. For now, safe travels and thanks for watching, guys.